Hello everyone. So today I am going to discuss about a super helpful extension of VS Code, which is called package.xml generator for Salesforce. So basically, we can generate our package.xml tags with the help of UI perspective of this extension without actually writing those XML tags manually. First of all, let's open the VS Code here. And there are a few steps that you need to perform before we can start using that extension. That is, you have to create a new project with manifest. That is simple. As you know that you can just click on Control Shift P and choose an option here called Create Project with Manifest. Select the standard template and name your project as per your convenience and then save. So this kind of project will be generated. I have named my project as new project. Now, the second thing is you have to install that extension. So in, if you see this icon here, extensions, go there and search for package.xml generator, which I've already installed and I will show you how it looks. Here it is. The name is Salesforce package.xml generator extension for VS Code. So this is already installed. Make sure you also install in your VS Code. And once it is installed, the third step that we need to do is authorize our org with our Salesforce. Basically, we have to authorize our Salesforce org in this VS Code. So as you see, my VS Code is not authorized to any org as of now. No default or set. Why is it needed? Because the package XML that we will create will retrieve the data from that org or deploy the data. So for my project here currently under manifest, you see the package.xml is empty. This is what we will generate with that extension without actually writing those tags here manually without even typing those. So as we said, as I said, like we need to first authorize our org. So from the template panel, click on authorize an org. Let's select production. Let's name it as my dev org. That is the alias name, which you can put anything. And here I will just log in so that this, this org is connected to my VS code. These are the three steps. Create the project, install the package, sorry, install the extension and authorize your org. Once these three steps are completed, now we will perform the actual steps. We will now generate this package.xml with the help of that extension. Let's click on Control Shift P again. Now you will see this command called sfdx package.xml generator choose metadata components. This is what it is coming from that extension. Let's click on it and you will see a very interactive UI. See, it has categorized all the metadata which can be present in your org. So since it is connected to our dev org, we can just go one by one to see what all components we want to fetch. Suppose we don't want to fetch all the Apex classes. We only want to retrieve selective. So don't select from here. Otherwise, it will select all the Apex class. Select on this arrow button just beside the Apex class. And here you will see all the list of Apex classes that are available in your org that you want to retrieve in this VS Code file. So let's select any Apex class, let's select, I, let's select this test factory Apex class, which I want to update from VS Code. So I want to retrieve it. So this is the only Apex class I want to retrieve. Now let's go to other category. Let's go to this Apex trigger. See, these many triggers are available in my org. So if you select it from here only, from the category only, then all the triggers will be selected. See, so it is recommended not to select from here rather under the sub tab which opens up and make sure whenever you are actually trying to create a new package.xml you always click on this button clear all so that all previously selected components are already deselected so if i select over here and then clear all from here then all the components already selected from this part of the screen will be will be deselected but from here whatever apex class we have already selected will all will already be selected because we haven't made it clear all from this side okay now let's go to other components which we want to retrieve or we want to create a package.xml for uh, let's try to get 
custom fields also we can see the option to retrieve the custom fields as well see we want let's see we want to retrieve these fields and then there is an option to custom label every type of metadata can be retrieved from here using this i mean this is just the generator then we will retrieve actually retrieve the metadata then there is flow let's say i want to retrieve all the flows in my org let me select this okay and then there are several options that you can select as per your requirement let me select one profile as well let's say for system admin i want to select that profile here it is admin once you are done with the selections just click on this button which is called update package.xml so it will actually update your package.xml profile you can also copy whatever you have selected here just click on update package.xml and see everything that you selected on that ui is actually reflecting here you have selected this apex class we have selected these custom fields and we have selected all flows so that's why it is marked as asterisk and this profile so this is how our package.xml is getting generated from here now if you want to put some add-ons let's say you want to add additional uh, metadata to be fetched so let's select the layout Mm, I want to select this asset layout, associated location layout. Then again, click on update package.xml. Those things will be appended. See how cool this is. You don't have to write those tags manually, type those. You rather just select and update your XML package.xml. So, this is a very helpful extension of VS Code, I would say, which helps creating the package.xml file for us let's select all no or don't select all the triggers let's select few of them and then update again now since i am done with the pair selection of the components that i want to retrieve and my package.xml is framed in that way then we can simply just click right click on that on, on the file and select this option called retrieve source in manifest or so whatever is mentioned in the package.xml just retrieve those let me click on this option so it will only select these particular retrieve these particular components from my connected org which are mentioned in this package.xml which we have generated from that extension so see it has already fetched for us we can just go and verify one by one so in under apex classes there should be that test factory class which we uh, selected yeah it is there and in the triggers it, there should be two triggers yes it is also there layouts we yes we do selected these two layouts under flows all the flows might have been retrieved here yeah. so let me know if this video was helpful for you i hope you enjoyed thank you